Hello everyone, my name is Dave Portner and welcome to your first Framework 7 tutorial. This is gold, this is the real thing. It's a framework for building, full featured HTML framework for building uh, mobile apps on iOS and Android. And that is amazing. It, it is well thought out and um, in case you're wondering what it is, it's in the league of, of Ionic, um, jQuery Mobile, Ratchet, some of which I've done the tutorials and, and so on and so forth. Uh, it is it, just it works like these guys here, but then uh, it, it's in it's in a league of its own. It's in a league of its own. It, it's just amazing. And um, in this tutorial, I'll be taking you through this awesome ride of um, building this amazing app. My name is Dave Partner, and. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll scroll through to show you what's obtainable. For you to start Framework 7, all you have to do is visit framework7.io and uh, it will bring you to this page. And the uh, first thing I want to let you know is that Framework 7 was first, uh, is iOS first. So they built it for iOS first. Even in the tutorials and documentations, they first give examples for iOS, then for Android. Then for Android, it uses material design. I told you it was well thought out, so this is going to be an awesome journey well thought out very very good so if you visit the site uh, you'll see a mobile phone um, emulation by the right and that's how you get to see all the features so they added all the features you have things like accordions you have things like autocomplete stuff like this very beautiful stuff uh, you can do on mobile and guess what you just need HTML to do all these things and um, you have stuff like messaging, custom messages. Imagine that you wanted to build a messaging app. They have already done the CSS for you for messages. This is mind blowing, believe me. And uh, there is no other framework that has some of this custom stuff already for you. Um, all you just need is to write the JavaScript to get the messages sent. And it's just amazing. They have stuff like infinite scroll. Um, I prefer this to Ionic to, to be truthful to you. This, this is amazing. Um, a whole lot of things on like date picker and these things are not complex. There's no complex, um, stuff going on at the back. It's simple, straightforward and well thought out. And that I used jQuery mobile, jQuery, not jQuery mobile. If you any, if you have any idea of jQuery, of the DOM manipulation type of jQuery, that's what they use to build stuff like this. So if you want to write, uh, JavaScript at the back end. You can use raw JavaScript or you can just Google how to do stuff with jQuery then copy the code and implement it here. It's, it's simple. It just works like jQuery and um, a whole lot of things you can see at the back is uh, of course is very very easy. I'm scrolling through to give you a rundown of their front page and like I told you it is, it's iOS specific. They built it with iOS in mind first then Android second. I'm an Android guy and I code for Android and um, I'm using it and it's wonderful. It's just as good for Android. Well thought out. These are some of the apps um, they use for it. These are some of the apps they, they built with Framework 7. It is just mind blowing. Look at some of the apps. Just look at them. Uh, it has amazing features. You, you have swipe. You, you can swipe around. It has panels as you can see. Cool panels. It, it has um swipe actions i think i've shown you this uh, dynamic navigation bars for then you have pull to refresh you know that small features it's not it's not in, in in jquery mobile where you can drag down the page and it will refresh it, it is here automatically you just have to enable it and um, like i told you before it has messages they have already built the message interface for you already and this is just amazing you don't have to start figuring out how to do special stuff and they already have so many um, apps deployed uh, in, in the app store so many apps have been built with it so framework 7 is the way to go framework 7 is the future i just discovered it and i decided to make a tutorial for it so we are here at the bottom of the page it is the same thing with the top of the page if you want to get started as you can see the best the uh, the most important uh links you need are here you have links to your download section you have the getting started initial tutorial you have the links to your doc section the forum the very active forum you have a link that explains the layouts and demo apps that have been built and showcase of all the other apps then all their links to their social networks uh, uh, media are here so um first of all we need to download it i'll hit on download 
and um, it starts downloading nobody is dragging you to go install some command line stuff and start doing stuff in the command line and no 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 this is as simple as it is i've downloaded it and that's it so all you have to do is just extract it and um, it's just like if you know web design at all if you know html at all it's just like an already built website so what we'll do is just to extract this guy and um, when i hit on extract i will extract files and um, just rename it to something cool framework 7 mobile anything you want then i will extract click ok and then bang the extraction is complete so we just scroll up to where it is framework 7 mobile oh, we just passed it framework 7 mobile framework 7 mobile all right that's it and then uh, we can copy it to uh, if you have web server like i'll teach you in the next tutorial how to use web server if you have web server you can just copy it to your ww root folder if you have any other um any other servers you can just copy it to your root folder but before then we can just check out what's inside here as you can see in the kitchen kitchen sink material they have uh this is ma ma whenever you see material it's for android whenever you see ios it's for ios apple phones okay so as you can see they have um uh, kitchen sink this contains all all the features of the site in case you ever want to see how anything is implemented you can come here scroll to this and open it with your editor and um, and view the code there and uh, also the, the documentation is very well thought out very very well but then this these are not all we need there is an example here I'm just giving you a run through of um, the the folder structure these are examples of apps that have been built with tab. You remember in Ionic, you, you can just create it from the co command line, but here we already have it as examples. So you can just copy and start implementing straight up. You understand? I like simple things. The next thing is um, the disk folder. This is what we need. So the, the, this is the main thing we need. So we can delete the rest of this and work with this. All right. So this is all we need. It has, it's just like a normal website. It has CSS, images folder, and JS folder. And, um, the images have stuff like icons and stuff so this this is just what we need to build our app and they've already built some sample stuff like forms like um, like like stuff like that so we'll just check out the index.html page and see what is there you double click the index.html this is just a sample in the next tutorial we'll actually start building stuff like this as you can see they just made it monotone you can change the colors later on i'll teach you they made it monotone and uh, the first thing we can do to appreciate this this is the app a sample app built with framework 7 to appreciate this we have to set our browser to a specific um mode you right click if you are on just right click on your browser and um, your browser will open this if yours doesn't it opens it like a mobile app um see what happens here this is a mobile app with a menu right panel it's just a sample mobile app that came with the download installation there's a right panel here and uh, there is a left panel here all right there is an about and stuff like that see if um, your browser doesn't show up like this this is an emulator if you're building mobile apps with HTML CSS the emulation is very simple you don't need to download any special stuff uh, once you have a browser if your if yours doesn't show up like this when you right click and hit on inspect elements what you have to do is um, when you right click on any page hit on inspect element something pulls up at the bottom of your page as you can see right here this guy pulls up at the bottom of the page all right if you're so, so for some people this doesn't pull up at the bottom it pulls up at the right at the right screen like this at the right if yours is at the right that's still okay all you have to do is um to convert it to start displaying like a mobile like this all you just have to do is hit on the mobile icon all right so once you hit on the mobile icon like this it, it will just change the, the toggle mode so this is how it was before but when i hit on the mobile the toggle device mode it changes to a mobile emulator and one more thing you have to see about these emulators is that hey you have different phones here already you can you can view it as if it's samsung galaxy you can view it as if it's nexus can view it as if it's an iPhone 6 but I like to always keep mine in responsive and then so I can drag it to any height I want and always remember to refresh once you change the device mode you hit on refresh then there's a percentage here telling you how what the, what the percentage of the icons there 
you can increase it is in 30 which is small I, I always leave mine at 200 percent then I drag close something like this so you can increase the fonts and stuff like that so that's it in the next tutorial I'll be taking you through a journey of building a beautiful app very beautiful app but then we have to download something called warm server and look around be around the bush a little and look around all other ways we can approach building this app um, very easily then we get down into the nitty-gritty of actually building the app so thank you very much the next thing you want to do is to subscribe to this channel to subscribe you just have to visit uh, my website uh, visit my channel on YouTube which is youtube.com slash C slash Brainten Brainten ORG just like that and you click enter as you can see there is no dot here it's just Brainten ORG you hit enter and um, this is my this is my uh, my channel on YouTube you just have to get to the right here and hit on subscribe button so that you will always get notifications when I make new videos and stuff like that and um, if you hit on playlist button on my youtube channel you'll see all other videos I've made all other interesting videos in case you don't know HTML yet and CSS you need to do those videos first you need to get through the tutorials of HTML and CSS as you can see I have HTML here CSS once you browse through them then you are ready for, for framework 7 Framework 7, we never get to code any CSS, so, so at the end of your HTML, you may even start the Framework 7. And then there are other tutorials of interest, like um, Phone Gap Ratchet. This is an equivalent of Framework 7, so um, you can just check out uh, uh, Ratchet in place of Framework 7 too. Ratchet is just like Bootstrap, it's the sister to Bootstrap. Um, some people even say it's the same company that built Bootstrap that built them. And uh, of course, I have a Bootstrap tutorial. You can take if you don't know what Twitter Bootstrap is. It's used to build beautiful websites. Almost all the modern websites in the world right now we are built with Twitter Bootstrap. In case you want to learn blogging, I have tutorials on blogging and stuff like that. If you want to learn advanced PHP development with Cake PHP 3.x, it's here. So you just check it out. All right, this is the channel you need really need to subscribe to. So just quick, basically visit the channel and hit on subscribe button. Thank you very much and um, see you in the next tutorial.